Hello everyone. This is Professor Lee of Dr. Wild Love TV. Today, anti-diabetic effect among the top 10 plants in the world. This is the part 3 lecture. Next week is the part 4 lecture. Of all the subjects studied so far, how to choose the medicinal plant that is right for you, I'll explain in detail. How to determine the dosage of a medicinal plant and how to actually use it, I'll make a final summary of the important points and the whole course for anti-diabetic top 10 is about to end. In today's lecture, I'm going to introduce four plants. Then it becomes top 11. The reason why I add one because it has special advantages not found in other plants. So, anti-diabetic effect it becomes top 11 in the world. Let's begin. It is the underground stem of a perennial plant of a ginger family. Disadvantages of this plant is absorption rate after ingestion is low. In addition to the treatment of diabetes, it has strong anti-inflammatory properties. There are many clinical studies show improvement of symptoms of degenerative knee arthritis and hyperlipidemia, fatty liver, asthma, skin moisturizing effect, etc. is proven to improve. What is the name of this plant? It's turmeric. I think you know well. Originally subtropical area, the flowers are beautiful, so it is also used as an ornamental purpose. Its scientific name is Curcuma longa. The name turmeric is better known. Turmeric is a tuber. It's also the name given to the yellow spice ingredient. The main active ingredient is curcumin, belonging to the class of natural polyphenols. It's the yellow pigment of the tuber rhizome. Let's see the mechanisms of treatment. There are very important mechanisms. 1. By activating glucose transporters, it lowers blood sugar. This action is similar to diabetes medications. 2. It regulates the metabolism of carbohydrate well. 3. Prevent pancreatic beta cell damage. 4. Through various mechanisms, it increases insulin sensitivity. First, regulate the abnormal lipid metabolism. Most diabetic patients' lipid metabolism is abnormal. Curcumin acts as a normal regulator. Among the secreted proteins in the fat cells of our body, there is a protein called adiponectin. Adiponectin has four very important functions. One, it reduces insulin resistance. Therefore, the effect of treating diabetes appears. Two, anti-obesity action. Three, inhibit the progression of atherosclerosis. Four, it regulates cholesterol metabolism. These four actions are involved in the typical chronic disease of modern people. By the way, turmeric increases adiponectin secretion. The result of clinical studies published so far, let's take a look. A total of 16 papers have been published, 1,309 patients for ages 18 to 85. Daily dose as a curcumin or a nanocurcumin is 80 mg to 2,100 mg. When curcumin is made into nanoparticles, even if you eat only one-tenth of it, the effect becomes similar. The duration of treatment ranges from 8 to 16 weeks. As a result, insulin resistance and blood sugar were reduced. Pre-diabetic, not diabetic patient, in a study of 240 patients, 250 mg per day for 9 months. As a result, in 16% of the control group, diabetes developed. But in the pre-diabetic group taking curcumin, none of them progressed to diabetes. A very important result, right? In the third study, to compensate for the low absorption rate of curcumin, there are ways to mix different substances together. Among them, perferrin, this is a black pepper's active ingredient, mixing perferrin and curcumin, then absorption rate of curcumin is increased. So, the disadvantages of curcumin are supplemented. 
result from taking 5 to 10 mg of this combination formulation per day, blood sugar and HbA1c levels have been significantly reduced. Let's talking about the reason for the low absorption rate of curcumin. This is because it does not dissolve well in water. Not only that, but after taking it, the metabolism is fast and excreted quickly from the body. To solve these problems, one, to slow down the metabolic rate, mix the other substances like forparin, is the typical substances in black pepper. Two, the curcumin molecule binds with lipid molecules or making nanoparticle curcumin, or when eating a fairy meal taking curcumin together, then absorption rate is increased. If you decide to take as capsules or tablets, it is recommended to buy nano capsules or combination product. After get it, be sure to read the recommended dose carefully. You just need to start with the smallest amount, absorb the reaction while taking. You just need to increase slowly. You should try taking it for one to two months. Those who want to take tea, you can choose a powder product, 250 cc of boiled water. The water should be allowed to cool slightly, cool to about 80 degrees Celsius. At high temperatures, there's a risk of loss of active ingredient. Add 1 to 2 teaspoons of turmeric powder. Then the important thing is, make sure the powder dissolves well in water. Also, it's good to take it during meals. All of these process is to prevent the low absorption rate. Start with a small amount and absorb the reaction, gradually increase the dose. If you want the traditional medicine method, first of all, you can get dried slices. Buy turmeric and you can also make dry slices at home. In one liter of mineral water, 5 to 10 grams of dry slices is the usual daily dose. It would be better to start with 5 grams. Next, decoct for 100 minutes at about 80 degrees. Because turmeric is the root, if you decoct it for 10 minutes, active ingredient is not extracted. So decoct it about 100 minutes. You can take it like a tea during the meal. According to taste, you can also add sugar-free ingredient. I recommend cinnamon. In addition to diabetes in traditional medicine, there is a record of use in angina pectoris, coronary artery disease, hepatitis, various pain problems. People with anemia or pregnant are cautioned. Side effects and solutions. In most clinical trials, up to 12 grams per day is safe. But if you have any allergy symptoms, stop. If it gets worse, go to the hospital. Abdominal pain, diarrhea, and constipation occur. Stop for two to three days, and you can start again with a small amount, coughing with low blood sugar symptoms. If you are taking anticoagulant, cardiovascular drug, antidepressant, or anti-cancer drugs, it's better to consult with the doctor. When pregnant or breastfeeding, it's better to avoid. Finally, other proven effect of traumatic. The first is hyperlipidemia. The second, it has strong anti-inflammatory properties, so turmeric is a good plan for various inflammatory problems in our body. If you have arthritis, if you take turmeric continuously, symptoms of degenerative arthritis will be improved. In case of non-alcoholic liver disease, liver function is improved. Asthma symptoms improvement Skin moisturizing effect also reported. The ninth plant is a rarer family, Paronia prensilute. It's one of the world's best selling herbs. Besides diabetes, fatigue, or endurance, cognitive function, memory, sexual function, or erectile dysfunction, metabolic syndrome, etc., in all these problems, improvement reported. What is the name of this plant? is ginseng. The scientific name of ginseng is Phanax ginseng. It's called Asian ginseng. It's one of the best-selling herbs in the world. 
According to the processing procedure, there are four types. Fresh ginseng is less than four years old. White ginseng is a peel and dried four to six years old ginseng. Red ginseng is a steam and dried six years old ginseng. And there is a fermented ginseng. American ginseng, its scientific name is Panax quinquefolius. This also has a similar effect, but not much research has been done like Asian or Korean ginseng. The most important of the active ingredient is ginsenoside. It refers to 150 kinds of saponins. One of the most regenerative ingredients are RB1, RB2, RG1, RE, RD, etc. In American ginseng, there's a substance called gintonin. It's not found in Asian ginseng. Okay, in clinical studies, this ingredient has significant effect on cognitive function and emotion, fatigue, diabetes, and respiratory infections. Looking at the mechanism of treatment, 1. Ginsenocytes, it moves glucose in the blood into the muscle cells. It activates the insulin signal. In addition, by increasing the production of glucagon like peptide 1, it stimulates insulin secretion. Two, protect the death of pancreatic beta cell. Three, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant action. Four, it has appetite suppression effect. Clinical studies published so far, 23 papers, is quite a lot. 1,321 diabetic patient, daily dose is from 200 mg to 8 grams. The duration of taking is from 4 weeks to 24 weeks. The results show that fasting blood sugar and insulin resistance were significantly reduced. However, in some studies, there are also reports of no significant effect. Measuring area under the cup is another test. When measuring blood sugar, we test it at a specific time usually. For example, postprandial glucose level is measured two hours after meal. In area under the curve measurement, the changes of blood glucose for three to four hours after meal. Also, observe the changes of insulin concentrations. Ginseng turns this index into a normal metabolic pattern. In other words, if you take ginseng, blood sugar and insulin is metabolized normally for three to four hours after meal. If you search the internet, because it's one of the best selling herbs, there are numerous products. If you choose tablets or capsules, get an Asian or Korean ginseng. After get it, just take the recommended dosage. Among the product, there are products highly concentrated form. So, be sure to follow the recommended dosage. Start with a small amount, increase the dose slowly while observing the reaction. When taking ginseng as tea, you can buy powder after buying Asian or Korean product powder to 250 cc of boiling water, add 1 to 2 teaspoons after 10 to 15 minutes, take it like a tea. You can take it 2 to 3 times a day after meals. Start with the smallest recommended dose. After at least 1 month, you just have to decide to continue or adjust the dose. I'll explain detailed instruction on how to adjust dosage in the final part 4 lecture. Those who want traditional way, you can buy dried ginseng or red ginseng. A daily amount of dried ginseng is 3 to 10 grams. In 1 liter of mineral water, at the smallest amount 3 gram is good to start with. Since ginseng is the root, decog it for about 100 minutes. You can take it like a tea. Maximum daily dose, 30 grams. In the case of powder, usual dose is about 1 to 2 grams per day. One of the most famous ginseng, that's Korean ginseng. There are also a lot of clinical studies in Korea. In a clinical study in Korea, the daily dose used is 400 mg to 6000 mg. In traditional medicine, besides diabetes, there is a record of use in weakness, fatigue, vomiting, diarrhea, cold sweat, and brain dysfunction, etc. 
in case of overdose or fever is to be careful. Well, let's talk about the side effect. In 23 clinical studies reported so far, no side effects were reported. Of course, an overdose or when taking other medicine that cause interaction should be careful. Temporary increase in pulse rate, digestive problem, constipation, nervousness, excitement, stop for 2-3 to three days, restart with a small amount. In the case of insomnia, do not take before bedtime. Hypertension, no increase in blood pressure in most clinical studies. However, hypertensive patients should check their blood pressure carefully. Although rare, hormonal changes occur after taking ginseng. Menstrual cycle changes or breast tenderness can happen. At this time, you stop for a while and then you can start again. Allergy symptoms stop and get worse, you must visit the hospital. People who take antiparatret, anticoagulant, antidepressant, antidiabetic, consult with the doctor. Looking at the other proven effect, 1. Various markers of metabolic syndrome are improved. For example, a decrease in body fat and bad cholesterol, a decrease in systolic or diastolic blood pressure. 2. It has the effect of improving cognitive function and memory. 3. Fatigue, endurance, exercise capacity have been enhanced. 4. Improved sexual function and erectile dysfunction. Now, its tenth plant in Ayurvedic medicine in India is used for diabetes. It's the leaf of a craving shlaf. It reduces seed food cravings. There is an anti obesity effect, improvement of metabolic syndrome. What is the name of this plant? Gymnema sylvestra is a very famous medicinal plant. Origin is India, Africa, Australia. The leaves of this plant are used for medical purposes. In the Indian pharmacophere, it is listed as an anti-diabetic plant. In Ayurvedic medicine, it has been used for diabetes. The name Gurma that is in Hindi means sugar destroyer. It means sugar destruction. Name is saying, I'm anti-diabetics, right? Wow, that's a very radical name. The most important active ingredient is gymnemic acid. It has anti-diabetic and anti-obesity effects. Let's look at the mechanism of treatment. One, it's a similar molecule with a glucose it blocks glucose receptors in the small intestine, so it reduces glucose uptake. Two, it inhibits the enzymes that make glucose. An enzyme for synthesis of glycogen from glucose are activated. Eventually, glucose continues to be consumed, so blood sugar drops. Three, regeneration of pancreatic beta cells, and it has an insulin secretion stimulating function. 4. On the tongue and palate, it blocks sweet taste receptors. Among diabetic patients, people who like sweet food a lot, they can't control desire for sweet food. However, this plant blocks the receptors for sweet taste, so sugar intake is reduced. Let's look at the results of a controlled clinical trials. In 8 papers, 419 diabetic patients, they took 200 mg to 500 mg of leaf extract per day. The duration of treatment is 4 weeks to 2 months. The results show not just fasting blood sugar, but postprandial blood sugar and HbA1c levels are all significantly reduced. And insulin sensitivity is also increased. Let's see another important study. Not type 2 diabetes. For patients with type 1 diabetes in 64 patients, taking it for 6 to 38 months. Insulin injection required dose is reduced. In type 1 diabetes patient receiving insulin injections, it has the effect of reducing the amount of injection. HbA1c levels and blood sugar 
the reduction effect are also reported. The another study for 64 healthy people, they took the gymnamic acid tablet for two weeks. Decreased sense of sweetness, a decrease in sugar intake were reported. There are many products on the internet, choose tablets or capsules made from leaf extract. After to get it, start with the lowest recommended dose, observing the changes, adjust the dose slowly. In case of free for tea, choose a powder product, to 250cc of boiling water, add 1 to 2 teaspoons of powder. After 5 to 10 minutes, you can take it like tea. You can add lemon juice and cinnamon. In traditional medicine, 1 to 2 grams of dried leaves in 1 liter of water. After boiling for 15 minutes, you can drink it like tea. The main use of gymnema in traditional medicine is also diabetes and diabetic patients who have obesity or hyperlipidemia. By the way, this traditional experience is proved in modern medicine. In case of overdose or fever, it's to be careful. Side effects and treatment. When temporary stomach problem occur, after two to three days, stop, start again with small amount. Allergy symptoms occur, stop. If get worse, go to the hospital. You need to deal with the symptoms of low blood sugar. Those who are taking antiplatelet, anticoagulant, antidepressant, you should consult your doctor in advance. Looking at other proven effect. One, even in type 1 diabetes, significant reduction in blood sugar and HbA1c levels. 2. Anti-obesity effect and an indicator of metabolic syndrome, cholesterol, body weight, body mass index, diastolic blood pressure are all improved. 3. The effect of reducing the intake of sweet food is reported. Finally, now the leaven's plants. These plants root, branches, leaves and fruits all have a proven anti-diabetic effect. Wow, a great anti-diabetic plant, right? It is not only medicinal plant, but edible plant. The leaves and fruits of this plant are very tasty. What is the name of this tree? It's a Moroso Alba mulberry tree. In a video on my YouTube, I have recommended two good trees to grow. The first is the Ludercoccus senticosus, the second was the mulberry tree. This has a so special advantage, it's too delicious to eat. The whole plant has an anti-diabetic effect. So I added it as the eleventh. Although all parts have an anti-diabetic effect, the best is leaves. Origin is Asia, because the growth rate is fast, it is widely distributed all over the world. And in Asia, it is a medicinal plant with a long history. About 200 active ingredients have been reported. In 20 of them, anti-diabetic effect has been reported. Polysaccharide, the oxygenomycin, chlorogenic acid, quercitrin, lutein, mulberoside, oxalous veratrol, etc. are complex ingredients that have an anti-diabetic effect. The whole plant has an anti-diabetic effect but highest in the leaf. It has a similar mechanism of action with a typical diabetes drug, metformin, losiglitazone. 1. The most important active ingredient, the deoxygenomycin component, inhibit enzymes that break down the carbohydrate. So, glucose absorption is reduced. It also works to reduce the rise in blood sugar after meals. 2. Because it activates insulin signaling, insulin sensitivity is increased and resistance is reduced. 3. Among the enzymes that regulate energy metabolism in cells, there is an enzyme called AMPK is activated by morose alba leaves. As a result, Uptake of glucose into skeletal muscle is increased and reduced glucose production in the liver. 4. It has a protective effect on pancreatic beta cells. Let's summarize the result of six control trials. 
209 diabetic patients, average age 50 years old. A daily dose, in case of using the mainly DNJ, 3.6 to 18 mg taken. In the case of using product extract from the whole leaves, 300 to 600 mg taken for 4 weeks to 12 weeks. Results show postprandial blood sugar drops, insulin resistance improved. However, no effect on fasting blood glucose or HbA1c was found. The evidence is still lacking. More research is needed. If you search the internet, you will find many products. Among them, choose the product made from mulberry rib extract. After get it, take as recommended. Start with small amount. Observing the reaction, you can increase it slowly. If you want to take tea, buy a powder product, or you can make a leaf powder at home. In boiling water, 250 cc, 1 to 2 teaspoons of powder. After 5 to 10 minutes, you can drink it after meals like tea. You can take it 2 to 3 times a day. Usual daily dose is 3 to 6 grams. You can take it in divided dose. When making powder at home, mulberry ribs should be collected in autumn. Dry it in the sun, you can make powder. You should take it more than one month. When using traditional way, Mulberry ribs collected in autumn, remove the petrioles and dry them in the sun, or roasted and steamed in a traditional way. You can dry it and use it. 6 to 12 grams of dried leaves in 1 liter of mineral water. After boiling for 15 minutes, you can drink it 2 to 3 times a day like tea. In traditional medicine, besides diabetes, there is a record of use for hypertension sleep disorder, edema, constipation, rheumatic pain, inflammatory disease. Because there are few side effects, be aware of overdose only. However, in case of overdose or inappropriate for you, temporarily loose stools, nausea, or constipation, abdominal pain can occur. Then, after 2-3 to three days stop, we start with a small amount. Allergy symptoms, stop taking it. If it gets worse, go to the hospital. You need to deal with low blood sugar. If you are taking anticoagulant, antiplatelet, or diabetes medication, consult your doctor in advance. It is recommended to avoid during pregnancy and lactation. Medicinal friends actually have side effects. Most of them are the same. Nevertheless, Side effects are important, so I say it over and over again. In fact, side effects of diabetes medications, let me tell you, you will probably be surprised. Because the drug has a strong pharmacological effect, there are many serious side effects that are incomparable to medicinal plant. Considering this, side effects of medicinal plant, you don't have to be so afraid. Let's look at the other proven effect. Hyperlipidemia is fishery. It increases HDL cholesterol. Now, part 3 of the lecture ends here. Wow, it was hard work. All of you are studying so hard. Really, really thank you so much for your hard work. Next week, part 4 is the last lecture. Even with the same diabetes, each person has different problems. Because medicinal plants have different characteristics, I'm gonna tell you how to choose the plants that's best for you. Also, taking those is very important. How much to start with, how to control, and at what doses you keep it, or when side effects trouble you, how to change to other plants. Two medicinal plants, not just one, when used together, I will tell you how to do, etc and how to measure the weight of actual medicinal plants, how to make traditional herbal decoction tea, I'll tell you about it in summary. Because next week is the last important lecture, I hope you all stay healthy, I'll be sure to see you again.